Unlock your creative potential with Dream AI from my designs. Explore a vast library of AI-generated images and prompts, and easily create unlimited designs using top AI image generation models. Are you ready to level up your print-on-demand or digital products business? Let's get started. So I'm over here on at mydesigns.io slash dream. Um, when you land on this page, I'll leave a link below this video in the description. You'll come across a huge library of image generate, images generated from various AI image generation models. Now you can scroll through these. There, you know, there's quite a few, and there's many, many more being added every hour. So this library will just get more and more. Um, it'll get bigger and bigger, and have all kinds of great prompts or ideas, design ideas, inspiration, etc., for your print-on-demand digital products business. So you can scroll through here. You can see, for instance, like this here. There's never enough daylight for golf. Fantastic design. Um, you can favorite these if you have a free account on my designs or a paid account. You can click that little heart. It'll favorite them, and then you can come back to them and find them anytime under your favorites here. But if I click into this, uh, what I love about this versus other image generation models and their libraries is we're going to show you all the different variations of the design that were generated. In this case, there's four. So you can click to those variations and see how they look. Um, there's also a, gener a generated title here. You can see who the author is. Who Copy this link and share it with others. You can see the prompt here. You can actually copy it by just copying it. Now you have the prompt. What's really important is you can see the model information here. So this is generated using Ideogram version 2. The resolution you can see here is the 3.4. No style applied. Uh, file type is PNG. It's one view and the date created, which was today. Now you could download this by clicking download. And again, you have to have an account. That'll give you all four of these designs. You can use them however you see fit. Assuming you have a subscription to my designs. If you have a subscription, you have commercial rights to use these images. Um, but if you don't have a subscription, you can't download and things like that. So, or use them commercially. Uh, you, from here, if you do have a my designs account, and you're logged in. You can actually save to a collection. Uh, this is really nice. So if you like that particular design, you can just select the one, save it to your collection right inside my designs. Which from there you can remove the backgrounds, vectorize or upscale the images, and then turn them into products like T-shirts, etc. So I just wanted to kind of cover the basics there. You can also share this on Facebook, Pinterest, uh, X, LinkedIn, and Telegram. And these are just auto-generated tags to help with search, etc. So that's ba the basis of inside here. Let me go back now and show you something else here. Let's click in one of these random images. Wildflower and leopard print watercolor art. You see there's two different variations of this. These look great. This is also Ideogram version 2. But I wanted to show you of my designs is there are many different models integrated in Dream AI. So this one is Recraft version 3, as you can see. And again, the prompts available to all of you. But let's go back. Now, I'm going to go back to the top. If I keep going, you'll see there are just tons and tons of just different listings, different designs here, which is fantastic. And many more being populated every day. So you come down, it'll just keep loading more and more, which is really cool. So you're going to get tons of great prompts. Some of these are, it looks like people are prompting for mock-ups, etc. So you get a lot of inspiration this way. But let me go to the top and show you a few things. So filters, you could filter by any of the AI image generation models. So if I wanted to just go, let's go to uh, Ideogram version two, just select that. Now it's gonna filter everything and only show you designs that are generated with Ideogram version two through Dream AI. So what's really nice about this, you could also run a search. If I just like did dog, you see up here it has the Ideogram version two filter and now it's filtering by search like dog. So you'll only see those particular generations so dog only from Ideogram version two. So hopefully that makes sense. You can go back in here and you can also filter by the most likes, most views, favorites, and a date range. But again, all models. So I want to show all models. Let's click that. And we got the search as dogs. Now it's going to show you everything, which is really cool. If I click this My Designs logo, it'll take me back to the beginning here, but no filters applied. Now let's go over to most likes. This is a brand new feature. So you can see in this case, this one has eight likes here. This one has seven likes, seven likes. You can also see the views, 13 views, 20 views, 18 views, etc. So you can scroll through and see the most liked ones. Again, this is across the entire library of everybody that's viewing this, that's liking, etc. Um, but now I wanted to show you one more thing here. Again, most views, same concept and favorites. This is a work in progress. It's not fully working yet. It should be tomorrow. But you'll be able to, to load all your favorites right here. So you can find them all in one spot, which is great. So going back to uh, recent, these are the most recent generations. And I want to actually go, actually, let me go back to most likes because the point of this video, one of the points I wanted to show you 
is how Dream AI works with this front-end version. You get a discount on credits if you make your generations public, meaning you're sharing them with everybody, giving them access to them. They can use them however they see fit according to our terms of service. So I want to look through here and show you how to scale prompts. So there's a lot of different ideas. This one's a really easy one. You can see I've already scaled it to different dog breeds, but I'm going to show you how to do that here. So again, this is Ideogram version 2 on the model. You can see the resolution is 3.4 here. And this is a great prompt. So I'm going to take that prompt. It's very simple. Copy it. Now I'm going to go over to the My Designs GPT. If you've heard of this before, it's, some, it's a GPT I created that helps you scale your prompts much quicker and have them formatted the proper way so you can just plug them right into Dream AI over here with parallel prompts turned on to bulk generate designs, which is really cool. So I'm going to say scale this prompt to the top uh, five U.S. states. I'm going to try that. I haven't tried this before because I've already done the dogs. Like you can scale to other dog breeds or other pets, but I don't know if this is going to work. This is... um. Yeah, that's not going to work too well. So let me go back. We'll just go with the we'll just go with the new chat. We'll take that prompt, scale this prompt to the top six um, dog breeds. So let, let's do that again, just to show you how this works. So within my designs GPT, if you find some a really good prompt that looks good here, and you can scale it out, you can come over here to the my designs GPT, copy that prompt, give us something like this, like scale this prompt to the top six dog breeds. And now you can see a bold love word with the golden retriever head. And right here, Labrador retriever, French bulldog, etc. So to show you the full process, I'm going to copy those. And you see here, you can come over to Dream AI inside my designs, inside the app. You'll need credits to use this, but turn on parallel prompts. Again, I'm going to use IDOM version 2. Turn off magic prompt, and I want that 3-4 resolution. We're going to generate four images each. So I can just copy that in. And with parallel prompts toggled on, if you have a line break here, which the My Designs GPT will automatically format it properly for this, then you can generate all these different generations. So I'm going to make publicly available and then just go dream. You see it's 30% discount, making that quite, quite a bit cheaper. But again, everybody will have access to that. So now you can see that's running each of these as separate generations. And while that's generating, I wanted to show you Dream AI if you're not familiar with it. We have all the top image, generated, generate, image generation models integrated. So the stable diffusion models with more of the, the newest stable diffusion models coming. Dolly 3, Ideal Ground version 1 and 2, Flux 1 Pro, Dev and Schnell, and then obviously Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, Recraft version 3, and Imagine 3 from Google. So lots of models already here, which is fantastic, uh, with more of them coming. Now you can see, let's look at these. These look fantastic. So I made them public. So what's great about this now, let's say we did four generations, so I want to find the one that looks the best. Like this is a little bit unique with the, the text here, the font here. So I'm just going to make that as the cover, the primary, which will move it to that one spot. And let me just go through the rest of these, see which one I like the most. This one looks great. You don't have to do this. It'll automatically, this one here will be the number one, or this here will be the primary. But if there's something that looks better, then you can make it the primary. So I'll just select, set that. And basically, you get the idea there. So if I go back to Dream, I'm going to go back to the home page. Just click the My Designs logo, refresh, and you'll see, because we made those public, all of these are here now, which is fantastic. So that's how Dream AI works. That's how you can scale out different prompts. Now, I did want to show maybe one more idea, a different way to scale prompts. Let me go to Most Likes. So this particular visual is incredible. I think this would do great on wall art. Um, Let's say I really like that, but maybe I want to take that concept, like that general style. You can see this is using the Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra model and the 2837 resolution. So I'm going to just take that prompt and I'm going to get you, I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to go to Chat GPT, to the My Designs GPT, new chat. Scale this prompt to the top five national parks in the USA. So let's see what, the, what will happen here. So real quick, what this prompt says, a surreal and majestic landscape with a vivid purple and pink cosmic sky filled with glowing stars. A serene lake reflects the sky and the silhouetted trees. Giant moon and the Milky Way are visible in the sky. The scene has an ethereal and uh, dreamy atmosphere. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, a surreal and majestic landscape of Yellowstone National Park. With vivid, so it's got the same general style it's sticking to. We can see here a serene lake reflects the sky and the towering geysers and trees. That's great. Grand Canyon National Park. 
Canyons layered cliffs glow under the light in the Colorado River. So it's getting things relative to each of these national parks. So Half Dome and El Capitan at Yellow or Yosemite. Uh, so this is great. So what I can do here, copy those, go back to Dream AI. Now I'm going to change this to the Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra model, which we had there. And I think it's the 3.2 generation. Yeah, it is. For whatever reason, it doesn't show that on that end. But 3.4, I mean, we're going to put these prompts in here. Again, all separated. And I'm going to make these public. And let's see what these look like. So we'll have those dream. And let's go to the top here. See, those are all in progress. So when those are done, we'll take a look at those. All right, and it looks like those are done. So I could view them here, of course, and then go and change like the primary thumbnail. But let's just go to the front here and refresh. So you can see these are public because we set them to public. And now you can see here, this is pretty cool. So like Yosemite here, let's pull this up. So this is awesome, right? So it's got the El Capitan half dome. It's got some lake here. Now I could I could get more specific when I'm scaling the prompts and give it like you know maybe one key land, uh, monument whatever it is from the national parks, but this still looks pretty cool. And you see there's multiple variations. So you get different styles here, right? So that's pretty cool. And now this is public, so everybody can find it, get inspiration from it. I think this would be Yellowstone. So this is not too relevant. That's a little bit more relative. So I'd probably adjust that prompt a bit more. But you get the idea. I want to show you different ways you can scale that. Be the Grand Canyon here. It's really cool. It does have the glow on the cliffs, like it said. That's pretty cool. But yeah, you get different generations like that. So that is how this works. I wanted to show that with you and share it with you. So there's also categories. These will auto-update over time as more and more information and more and more uh, designs are added. But this is a fantastic way to get started. In the very near future, you'll be able to click in one of these remix images, just generate right on the front end without having to go into the, the Dream AI site over here. But it's a really fantastic way to find inspiration, find prompts, use the My Designs GPT to scale them out. You can create unlimited t-shirt prompts, unlimited uh, digital product prompts, rather that's Tumblr wraps, mug wraps, or just PNG clip art, or any of the print-on-demand products in My Designs, because it's all design-based. You could just find inspiration, create those very quickly, and then go and run with them from there. Remove the backgrounds, uh, upscale them in bulk. You can do all that in My Designs. And then very quickly publish them as print-on-demand products through our print network with automated order fulfillment and so forth. But that's it for this video. It went on a little bit longer than I wanted. Mostly wanted to share this new update of Dream AI, this public library of generations, prompts, etc. that you can utilize. If you have any questions at all, let me know by leaving a comment below. Also, the links for the different tools that I use will be available in the description. So talk soon. Cheers.